What's up, fellow journeyers? So today, my wife. I don't think I've ever driven a Mercedes before. It's going to be driving and setting up this RV. Here's what she has in store for her today. She has to zigzag out of this super tight national park campground, go to a dump station on her own, and hook up. Have you ever done this? <laughs> <laughs> then we have to drive a couple hours to our next stop. She's gonna have to stop at some point and get fuel. A regular ride. Regular? I've never used one of these in my life. She's gonna arrive at the campground. When I'm doing this over and over, are you cutting as hard as you can? Watching this tree is She's gonna have to set this whole thing up when she gets there. I don't know about you, but I'm nervous. But Marissa's totally got this. It's time to let go and get going. Usually I have the outside duties, Marissa has the inside duties. I have tricked her a little bit because you're going to be driving the rig today, girl. <laughs> so I'm on double duty. Yeah, you're you're, you're going to be doing the outside stuff too. It's kind of like I get a free day. This is pretty epic. Yeah. <laughs> ready to do this? I guess. <laughs> I know I need to learn how to do this. And it's kind of embarrassing that we have been on the road nine years and I have never fully done this myself. But in my defense... We've always traveled with little kids. So like literally Nathan does the outside. I do the inside. I keep them alive and I know I need to do this. All right. Number one is the mat. So this needs to come up. <laughs> no, I can, no, it's for the, for the tube. <laughs> do I get to do this with you later on how to do laundry? This and is how the to most fun video ever. <laughs> Nathan does everything now. All right. I usually actually roll it and stuff. But that would take longer. And I just, you know, I'm a pretty merciful guy. So. So we are leaving from North Cascades National Park. We don't have any hookups at all. No water, no sewer, no electric. So she gets a little bit of a break as far as the takedown. Make sure the emergency brakes up. Okay. Come also, on. this is a new RV. This is not our typical RV. This makes it look <laughs> like I don't even know how to start the engine. We double check everything. So this isn't oh. down yet, but go around and kind of double check all the cabinets, make sure everything's latched and closed and check the bathroom too. Part of my role too is I boss people around all day. So <laughs> tell the kids, hey guys, watch out, be ready. The slide's gonna come in. So tap this, watch. that button second from the bottom. And then now you're gonna hit the ret button, the retract button. Doesn't that feel powerful? No, it's terrifying. <laughs> the kids don't even think anything about it. They're just like, <laughs> and stop. How do you feel about your mom driving today? Mm. You want to hit where it says retract it's jacks on that screen. Ow. There you go. Woo. Yeah, yeah, it kind of jerks a little bit. And that's why we do that second is because you want to have the slide needs to be as level as possible when we're doing that. So. All right. The uh, scary beeping noise is normal. <laughs> so, so one more walk around. Such a beep. No, I need my coffee. Oh, getting real, girl. All right. <sighs> uh, Got to do everything around here. Oh, get ready. You're the gopher now. <laughs> Everyone needs something when you're going down the road. All right, let's park. Okay. That's drive. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is different. So we always walk around and... this is what you do. <laughs> that is not all. I'm going to be Nathan. <laughs> I'm being kind here. And you're making fun of me. This is your role I'm doing right now. <laughs> just I think I pushed it a little too much this morning. So we always do one more walk around just to make sure there's no kids toys or anything left over. She, uh... She swung that really wide like a fifth wheel right there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna swing to the right. I've got another surprise for oh, you. Oh no! <laughs> the dreaded dump station. Look at that emergency brake above and beyond. I'm just scared because it's a different tap system. I don't want our kids to go rolling. So we're going to do two things. One is we're going to fill the water while we're dumping. This stretches? No, it doesn't stretch. What do you mean stretches? It's hooked up to the RV already on no, that I'm end. I'm saying it's going to stretch yeah. on yeah. Oh, that's what's my question. Yeah. Okay. Because that, that piece right there has some stretch to it as well. So if you look under here, you need to flip it from dry camping to tank fill. 
Um, there you go, you hear it. Yeah, yeah, so it's filling up the tank right now. All right, here's the fun part. Gloves. <laughs> Have you ever done this? <laughs> oh, yes. I don't want to learn because then if, <laughs> ignorance is bliss, man. It's like when I said on how to wash dishes. <laughs> yes, or do the laundry. You're like, I don't want to learn because then I could be asked. Ah. Can you take that out of that bag? You broke my bag? It's a hefty bag. I've used that for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> for 10 minutes in, you've already... <laughs> All right. All right, so that hooks onto that piece. There you go. All right. Ugh. Have it go, no, go under the water. And you're gonna hook up to that right there. So that needs to twist counter. Now, that, if anything's dirty, when you twist that counterclockwise, something's gonna fall out of that. So you just twist it counterclockwise. Just twist it, just twist it. Nope, nope, you're going clockwise. There you go, counterclockwise, there you go. Pop it off. There'll be a tiny bit that'll come out possibly. There you go. All right. Pull the black valve first. You're gonna get to come watch the show for uh. <laughs> this is making my day. <laughs> so close the black. Okay. Open the gray. All right. This will be a little bit stronger. It'll also flush out the hose while it's going. Does it ever like have so much pressure it just like explodes off? It has happened in the movie RV. <laughs> but in real life, no. But I will say we've gone from a really low elevation to a high elevation and when I pop that cap down at the bottom, <laughs> I have had that when I turned it, it <laughs> like gross oh this is that bridge yeah am i going oh yeah you're doing the bridge you're doing all kinds of fun stuff today uh, okay well, I'll miss so they got a stoplight for this bridge pretty cool the one thing i struggle with and why i don't let you drive is if there's tight spaces like construction and like so she's referring to like this depth perception basically yeah i have an easier time when i'm sitting somewhere and watching cars coming by i can see the speed of them i know when i can come out and i can't all or right, a bridge like this great. you're good just ride in the middle you got it This isn't as bad as construction. No, we've definitely done narrower In than the this. fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah, we've done narrower than this. That's what freaks me out. You know, my role is the navigator, but we have kids who are the navigator and the gopher. So <laughs> we kind of do a double duty. So I, I don't at all feel like what Marissa does is easy from the passenger seat. So then I'm trying to homeschool going down the road. You got out easy. You don't have to. You did, that's why you did it on a <laughs> day. We didn't homeschool. Correct. Because you have to be homeschooling, <laughs> being the gopher, being the co-pilot. One day I'm just going to be a passenger princess, but... How's it driving? It drives great. It doesn't, I mean, honestly, it doesn't feel much different than like driving the dually. It's kind of cool that we can hear and see and be aware of everything that's happening in our RV. So it's not like you show up and things are disheveled. I don't think I've ever driven a Mercedes before. This is nice. <laughs> the height isn't too big of a deal in this, but you are still just aware of it in case something happened to sag or something happened with the tree, but even just the height yeah. of things around you, especially along this edge over here. Sometimes GPS, you have to even like be aware because it will have you do crazy things. Make a right Maybe it's turn. a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's well, a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's Stop not yelling. yelling. There's no boat here. Good. You know your height? What's your height? Go. 13. No. <laughs> <That's> so freaky. <laughs> You're uh, 11 foot 5. Uh, yeah, if you can hit this outside one here, that's going to be ideal. All right. You have gone up way too far. It's right next to your door. So you're gonna, oh, is it next yeah, to my door? You have to back up a little bit. Is 
hidden or something? You gotta find it. <laughs> Is it really hidden? <laughs> Here? Yeah, that's it. Is there some? <laughs> you have to open the door. <laughs> it's really weird the way they do it. So open the door, then oh. open that. Yeah, now open that. Here you go. <laughs> Man, Nathan. Man, a lot. Did you close that last time? It is tight. Look, <laughs> well, there's like a good grief. Like an elevation change or something. Oh my goodness. Do we need to back up? Is it gonna? There. Wow, that was tight. <laughs> uh, regular. Ride. Regular. Regular. What do you mean regular? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better said diesel. If you go to BP, they're all green and you'll get the wrong one. Hey, you can't just stand here and stare at it. You gotta clean the windshield. Let's go. Clean the windshield. Clean the windshield, that's what I do. I've never used one of these in my life. <laughs> Sure. Getting a little bit of city driving in here. I always like the map this way so I can tell whether I'm going north, south, east, or west. However, Marissa. Well, you know, you're a crazy person because I want to be able to see like my direction in real time. That's why I was thrown off. I was like, I'm turning right, but it has me turning zigzag. Yeah, you're you're insane. You wanted to go this way. <laughs> here it is, guys. Just gotta find a place to park here. Definitely not as much beforehand planning on the parking situations for this. You feel good about that? That's a pretty long spot right there, actually. So I would swing really wide. Take these two spots here. It's gonna take some wiggling because you got a car behind you. No, no, no. Uh. Look, trust me. Okay? I don't trust, trust you. Me. I don't trust you because we've never done this roll before. Okay, I know. I don't know what I'm doing. You're not going to hit anything. That's my job. What do you want to do? But can you tell me the plan? Because I don't. You're going to park in that spot right there. Okay. But in order to get in that spot right there, you have to come into this spot right okay. here because you can't back up any farther or you're going to hit a vehicle. Okay. Trust me. Okay. All right. All right. We got you. You're good. All right. Not sure on these steps if they're gonna try to come out and they're gonna hit that or not. We're good. Everybody just needs to come out this door though, <laughs> or that door. Don't let them come out the main door, okay? Come out our door. Come out the front doors. Don't come out the side door. All Although right. our kids are like, I just want to eat pizza. All right, we're good. All right, you guys gotta come out this door up here. Okay. Things it's we stuck. do for our pizza. Well, I'm not sure what the automatic step is gonna do. We broke one of those one time on a Class A because we were next to a sidewalk and it came out and hit the sidewalk. Did not like it. <laughs> come on. Maybe we'll do the other door next time. Can you close that door, Marissa? Good job, guys. I would rather hug this than get hit by somebody over here. So, <laughs> look how straight that is. Good job. Yeah, too bad. yeah we're in. Ooh, a little wiggling. Might look like a couple crazy. Oh yeah, we got some looks. <laughs> gotcha. Pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. It may or may not have been evident. I was uh, I was having a frustrating time. Marissa did great. She did fantastic. It's just really hard being in a reverse roll that you're usually in, knowing that oh, you know I would have taken the turn wider and I would have done it this way or that way, and then having to verbalize things you're not used to verbalizing. So <laughs> it's hard being in different roles. Go. Wow, guys. What did the shirt say? Like, I'm sorry for what I said when I was uh, backing up the. We haven't even backed in the site yet. <laughs> That was just stopping for lunch. <laughs> I'll do anything for some pizza. Good stuff, guys. Daddy, thank you for thank you for pizza. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> this place is adorable. Look at the library. Yeah. 
You don't see that anymore. You hardly ever see that. That's like, I mean, you could go to jail for making your kid mow your lawn nowadays. <laughs> He's push mowing. <laughs> it's push mowing, man. It's great. Love it. Kudos to you, Washington. <laughs> this is such a cute town. <laughs> it's, it kind of feels like, this is like the kind of town you just retire at. You just ride your bike down the road or walk down the road. Or it's like you're stepping back in time. It is. Wow, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whoa. You got the mountains back there too? Like true mountains with snow on them. came in here the water's back here let's go straight and see if we get lucky in the back somewhere with water uh, you got like three feet on each side it's I okay know, it's depth <laughs> perception here is that one right there too so she's gonna be pulling forward and then backing into this side right here hopefully i won't get run over in the process well, she's got a lot of momentum <laughs> are you cutting it when I'm doing this over and over? Are you cutting as hard as you can? All right, go for it. Well. I'm go for it. Straight, straight though. Okay. All right, stop. How are you not see me? I see you. Okay. Can you see my hand now? Yeah. All right. This is so frustrating. It's so hard. And all right. I think we're good. All right, come on out, guys. I got a surprise for you. It's a picnic table. Just kidding. We got something else. Come on, JJ. What? Look what's right there. Playground, right there. Did those kids just invite them to play like 30 seconds in? That's why I love RV kids. They're just like, hey, you wanna play? Sure, let's play. Okay. Or she stick her tongue to it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you can figure out how to. It has to go in a certain way. Okay. Mm. Right, so yeah, I don't match up. Oh, it matched up. There. And you got twisted to the right. You want it to be off before you plug it in. So hit the turn it to off. Okay. Now plug it in. All right. Now flip it on. All right. Hook up your water. You're done. You gotta flip this to uh, the middle nozzle. Alright, good job, babe. But he's not. <sighs> no. That's funny. What? That I did that? Yeah. Why's that funny? We survived. <laughs> we, um, I lost maybe a year of my life. I, I know, it's just when you swap roles, and this is what, if you haven't RV'd before and you're about to RV, just know that the way we're feeling, that's what this is doing basically. It's almost like we're starting over. Yeah. And experiencing these selves, like me guiding her in, or you're like, you're figuring out these roles in the beginning. You did great. She really I did. Actually, it was a little nerve wracking, but I have wanted to do that for a really long time and it felt good to like, to know I can do it, you know? You still got it, girl. I, you still I got did it. it. Well, if you're looking for more motivation to start somewhere, we've got another video where Marissa drove the fifth, the construction she's talking about. <laughs> she drove the fifth wheel um, through some construction and drove it for the first time as well. Uh, so if you want to check that video out, put the link down below for that video. I'm pretty exhausted. It was- um, Did I take it out of you? It was hard for me to be in the passenger seat, but uh, we've each got our roles and things that we love doing. Definitely let us know which role you think you're in or what you've experienced and everything else in the comments down below. Well, that is our journey for this video. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Did I wear you out that much by driving? You like came in and passed out as soon as we got here. I might have gotten a little, you know, 
bumps and scratches along the way, but today we made it successfully into this spot. So, so tired. <laughs> and that's why you drive. 